Hey everybody, this is James from Flippin' Bee Company. We got our packages in. As you can see, we're going to install here. Just want to shoot a quick video so people that are new that haven't installed packages before, I'll have a kind of a clue of what to do and uh, kind of help them out, I hope, a little bit here. Um, you see here we have our sugar water. It's just a water bottle. We've mixed sugar in it. The cap has about four holes in it. That's what you're going to spray the bees down with so they're not flying in the air so much on you. Kind of control them a little bit. You want to make sure your box is set up before you get started. Let me move this high, this here. We're running nukes here, so all of ours is five frame. We have our frames in. We, of course, have our wax in it installed. We have all our frames centered up where they need to be. We have an empty medium on top. The reason we put the empty medium on top is to help us shake. So it kind of gives the bees a space to go so we can put the lid on it. And we're not smashing bees. Go ahead and while you're here, Spread these out. Give yourself some space for your queen cage. When you open your package up, of course you're going to pop, take your hive tool and pop this wood piece off right here. Once you get it off, don't throw this away. Keep it handy. You're going to need it here in a minute. Actually flip it upside down so the staples are out of your way. You want this to lay flat here in a minute. You'll have a can here. This is going to be your feed can. You're going to have to take this out in a few minutes. And you have your queen cage which is this is what this tab is. This is holding the queen cage suspended inside here. That's what all the bees are, are piled up on there right there. They're all around that queen. You see this side's empty? It's because they all want to keep that queen protected. What you're going to do is pull the staple out here of your queen cage. Keep your finger on it or thumb. Flip your, 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 sorry. Flip your package over a little bit so it makes your can easier to get out. Pull your can out. Oh, obviously, I can't do this because I'm shooting a video. Pull your can out of there and pull your queen cage out. Once you pull the can and your queen cage out of here, you're going to have all them bees down in there still. Take your board and flip it down on here like this. That's what that board is going to be for. It's going to cover that hole while you're working your queen. You want to go ahead at this time and inspect your queen. Make sure she's in there. She's well taken care of and everything, and she's healthy. When you pull the queen cage out, Pull the cork out of the candy end. One of the ends, one of the circles down there is going to have candy in it. You want to pull the cork out of the end of that. Leave your tab on here. It can help you out pulling the cage out later. Then you want to take your queen cage and set it down in between your frames here. You want to have the screen side down. Have it down so the bees can get on it and take care of her. If you turn it side to side, they're going to get too packed in there. She's not going to get taken care of. She's going to get too hot and she's going to die on you. Make sure your screen side is down. Once you have your screen side in there, pull your frames good and tight on her and everything. Then take your package. I usually spray my bees down one more time through the screen with sugar water so they're not flying. Take your package, take your board off, dump all your bees in here. You have to, a few minutes, shake your package back and forth, dump them down in there, then put the lid on top. After you put your lid on top, you're going to come back tomorrow or the next day, depending on what time you have. Pull this lid off and pull that empty medium off. If you don't, they're going to start building cone on top of your lid. They're in straight build-up mode right now because they're coming from a package so they know they have to build them a home. Make sure you come back in a day or so and pull this medium off. Once you pull the medium off, you can put your lid right back on top of your hive. I hope this helps. If you have any questions or anything, drop us an email or a question. We also have, uh, you can call us on phone, Facebook, or however you like to do it. Thank you. I hope this helps.